Hello and welcome to Family Tech, where you get all the tech tips, news, and information to help you understand and manage the technology in your home. If this isn't your first time here, welcome back. Today we're talking all about Verizon Smart Family. So Verizon Smart Family is a parental control app that you can use in conjunction with your Verizon account to help you manage your children's devices. So let's dig right into exactly what it is and what it can do. So as I mentioned, Verizon Smart Family is a parental control app. Now this is available through Verizon and it is available for an additional fee on top of your regular service plan. So you can pay $5 a month for basic content filters and limiting apps and things like that or you can pay $10 a month and get driving tracking so you can understand exactly how they're driving, speed limits and things like that, and location tracking. So that's the $10 a month plan and then the $5 a month plan is just more basic. Now, the way you install Verizon Smart Family is first you would have to install the parent app on your phone. So this is going to be the Verizon Smart Family app. You download it just from the regular app store or the Google Play store and you can install it and you're good to go. Now, then you're going to need to install the companion app on your child's device. So in order to add it, you will tap through your Smart Family app, which will send a text message to your child's device. Now, once they get that text message, they can tap on that and get the companion app installed on their phone. Now the companion app is basically going to install a VPN connection on the child's device. Now we've talked about VPNs before. Now when a parental control app utilizes a VPN connection, it's basically forcing that device onto this protected network where it can enforce all of the changes and all of the restrictions. Now without that VPN, those restrictions would not be in place. So you have to make sure that the VPN is on and enabled on your child's device during the setup process and make sure they don't disable the VPN in the future. Um, they can also try and get around this VPN by installing other VPNs that will override that. If you use other parental control apps like Bark, they also install a VPN. So you wanna make sure that your child's device is utilizing the Verizon VPN if you want all of the restrictions you're setting through Verizon to stand. And again, Again, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And so that's basically taking the device and placing it on this private network that has the restrictions in place and allows you to enforce those. So now since there are ways for kids to get around this VPN, Verizon Smart Family will notify you when it is not working properly. So it'll have this big banner at the top of your screen and you'll be able to fix what's going on. So you tap fix, it's gonna send them that link in the in their text messages. They can click on that and get everything working properly again. Or you can just go take, check out the device, see if the VPN is running and do it that way. Now let's dig into exactly what Verizon Smart Family can do. So the first thing it can do is give you usage reports. So it's going to tell you exactly how long they've been spending on different apps. It's going to tell you what apps are installed on the device and it's going to let you know who they've been calling, who they've been texting. It's only gonna give you phone numbers. It's not giving you a name. So you're gonna have to match up that phone number to a specific contact that you know that they have. But if you see changes in that or they're communicating with somebody that you're not familiar with, you can definitely look further into that. But so those are the usage reports it's going to give you. How long they're spending on different apps and different websites and the websites they're going to and the apps they're using and the people they are calling and texting and whether or not they're doing that after hours like so you'll I'll get alerts saying hey um, Michael was texting late at night 
or something like that. And it'll let me know that. So speaking of alerts, you can also get alerts for location. So you can set an alert uh, around your child's school so you can know when they arrived at school safely. It will also let you know if they've left school so you can see if they are ditching out on classes or things like that. So um, these location alerts, you would have to set up what uh, what locations you want alerts for. So specifically, I set up location alerts for the school and for home so I can know when my kid has gotten home if I'm not home and when they've gotten to school and when they've left school. But one of my favorite things about the Verizon Smart Family app is restricting access during specific times. So you can set school hours where they are not allowed to call, text, or browse their the internet. Um, they would still be able to use Wi-Fi on the device, so be aware of that. But um, it will, so this will restrict their access during the day if you want to set that school time frame. There's also a bedtime time frame that you can set so that they don't have access to the internet or calling or texting in the middle of the night. So you can set the bedtime and the wake time and it will automatically shut down the data access to that phone during those time frames. You can also limit calls and texts to a specific number every month. So when I was younger, the you had texting limits that you could only text, you know, 50 a day or whatever. These days, texting limits don't really exist on the network level where you're gonna get charged for any texts that you do over a certain amount. But if you're trying to limit how much your child is texting, then it might be a good idea to set some texting limits and some calling limits. Another really great part of Verizon Smart Family is the content filters. So I can block access to specific apps or specific websites, or set general content filters where it's going to try and filter out most of the inappropriate content. Nothing is going to be perfect. There will still be inappropriate content available on different devices. So be aware of that. So they can't use specific apps that you have maybe blocked. You know, maybe you've blocked YouTube or maybe you've blocked Snapchat. You can block access to those specific applications. I wish you could set up some time limits for those applications, but I get that they don't have that included. You can set up time limits for those types of applications through other means like screen time on iOS or through Google Family Link on Android. The last awesome feature of Verizon Smart Family is is the ability to block specific contacts or allow trusted contacts. So for example, if you've set school time to be blocked during the day, but you want them to still be able to contact you, you can set yourself up as a trusted contact and they'll be able to contact you even during those down timeframes. So I think this is really important, especially for emergencies happening at school or anything like that. They'll still be able to contact you. So putting in those trusted contacts is super important, especially if you're going to use these time limits. Other than that, you can block different contacts if they are kind contacting somebody you don't approve of, um, and you can allow various contacts. And that is basically Verizon Smart Family. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It really helps YouTube know that I am creating good content that you want to hear. So go ahead and follow me on all social media platforms. I am Family Tech, and we will see you next time.